Mallory here. Welcome to another video. Another video. We're still making these. Uh, surprise! This is not our van. We did not redo our van, no. We uh, slid in a little early for the holidays at my parents' house in Michigan. Specifically their basement right now. My uh, childhood home. Yeah, so we'll be here for the next month and then we will be back in the van full time and hopefully finding some sunshine. All right, today's video. Our highs and lows of the last eight months. Because we did have some high highs and some, some low lows. And we're not gonna give you a bazillion to go off of. We're going with six, so three highs, three lows. And we have uh, pictures and videos that go with each one of these highs and lows. So content on top of content. Very fancy. You're welcome. Should we start with lows or highs first? Ooh. I personally would rather hear the low first. Our first low. Where was it, Mallory? We were in none other than a Walmart parking lot. Of course. And this was the moment we realized, our first moment that we realized. There were many after this. <laughs> uh, van life comes with a little bit of maintenance. And by a little bit, in this situation, a, a lot, lot of it. it. Our gray water tank overflowed. And it was 100% our fault. But we just weren't watching it and... This was like fresh into van life, like however long it took us to fill it up. So maybe a week or maybe week two. I think we have a video here right after it happened. Uh, our gray water tank overflowed because we weren't watching it very carefully. So now there's pieces of noodles and old veggie underneath the sink and it's really only our fault. So yeah. It really wasn't a big deal. We were able to clean it up with, you know, without any damage or anything like that, but it was definitely a low moment. You know, that first, that first mess up in the van is just. <laughs> Our first high, let's talk about the highs. And again, it sounds a little funny, but these first highs and lows were just, they were, they were pivotal in our trip. So you have to know we started in North Carolina. So East coast. So when we arrived on the West Coast, I mean, it just felt like we accomplished something grand, like something out of, you know, the world, Guinness World Book of Records. I don't know. It was, we drove across the country, but it felt like everything. This was also after we had spent, you know, a decent amount of time in the desert, which beautiful places, but for us we realize there's a limit to how long you can be in the desert and so when you pull up to that california coast and the ocean oh we did also know that we were going to be spending probably the next month or two on the west coast we have friends there you know the van life community was a lot bigger in california so there was a lot leading up to that moment of actually getting to the west coast yeah all right our second low second two second two out of three low number two here we go. All right, picture this. Just picture it. Driving down the road in the middle of nowhere, it's a hundred and... I think it was 112 degrees, give or take a few degrees. It was hot. It was so hot. And I'm driving and then all of a sudden the vehicle slows down and we see a notification that says... I think it said this warning right here. Yeah, that one right there. Right there. Stop it, that's more <laughs> editing for me. <laughs> To keep a long story short, we ended up having a crack in our coolant reservoir, which happened over a weekend, and apparently every maintenance shop is closed on the weekend. So we got a little stuck, but we were in a parking lot with a Planet Fitness, so we had showers at least. But it was a low. Second low. Second high, and this one really was a big high for us. Man. We entered into the Wave Lottery hike. Located in Kanab, Utah. Without going too much into this, it's a very highly sought after hike that only a certain number of people can go per day and you need to win a lottery to be able to go on this hike. Pretty much on a whim, we applied and... We got it. This was one of those, I always say, you know, you have your bucket list and then you have your like other bucket list of like... <laughs> Let's be real, it's not gonna happen. And this was on that bucket list for me. I really didn't think it was gonna happen. So I went from being no hope to just on top of the world. And we don't need to give you any more explanation. We're just gonna show you a few pictures here. So yeah, you get why that was a high for us. All right, last two, one more low, one more high. And this one for me was the lowest of all lows in the last eight months. And I, I have to 
preface, this is not going to seem like the lowest of the lows. It's not going to seem like it's that big of a deal. But this one, with the mental space that we were in, it just brought us to not a good place. Yeah. All right, so this one's actually fairly recent. Um, at this point, we were back on the East Coast, um, so it's starting to get colder, and we ended up, you know, New York, um, New York City, Boston, and then we're like, hey, let's go into Canada. We got probably everything we need to get into Canada. Yeah, and you know, van life, I think, just really is chilled us out to the point where, you know, we're, we're not planning a bunch, and totally on us we ended up missing some things and so we got turned away from the border which just felt super defeating and this is like two days before thanksgiving so we turn around and head back into newport vermont which nothing population maybe 20 people i don't know <laughs> we ended up being able to find a walmart but like i mean middle of nowhere guys, nothing around it it was 20 degrees. It was getting dark at about 4.30. I think we actually have a video here. You kind of get the state that we're in. How are we doing, Mal? I think a new low for us, We uh, it gets dark at 4.30 p.m. And then we're just kind of stuck in the van. We're realizing this is going to be our future for a while. Uh, we also saw the temperature tonight is going to be a low of of 20 degrees. So gonna be a long few days here before we're to our next stop so again it may not seem that much of a low but I think it was just the headspace that we were in we didn't feel like playing more card games or watching movies we just kind of wanted to be out of the van in a comfortable situation that we had planned for ourselves in Canada with friends and family but we got turned away so that was the low of the low and all things considered we ended up getting into Canada and Spoiler seeing alert. our friends and family, so it ended up fine. But that night was just, <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to describe it. <laughs> and our last high. And our last high. All right. And if you're watching this, I hope on the other side of the screen you go, ah, after we tell you what our last high is. One of our biggest highs in the last eight months living in the van was the first night that we got to sleep in the van and really call it home. Call it home. <laughs> but for real, it was such a special, I don't even know why, it just was like this, no, I do know why. Yeah, you, you're you working towards something for, I mean, we spent five months, not to mention the months before that, talking and dreaming about it, and so it's just, you feel so, it's like... This dream becomes a reality. <laughs> sounds so corny, but that's really what it is. So. You feel so giddy, like a giddy little kid or something. We were in a Cabela's parking lot. It was like... Not I think even... we have pictures from this too. Yeah, and I think we were eating like ramen, like... It just was, it felt right. And it has been right since then. So, our highs and lows, you gotta, I mean, highs and lows are in every part of life, but we thought we would bring them to you from our van life. Mm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Alright, that's another video. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. What? I think we should... I think we have a special guest in this video. Oh, I forgot you were going to do that. You're getting him out? That's going to be... Ray! My parents have a dog. Hey, Fuzzy, are you going to be calm? No, he's not going to be calm. The dog's name is Doug. Doug, come hey, here. Hi. Come here. Say hi to everyone. Oh, God. Okay, okay, all right, okay. All right, all right. Gentle. Say bye to everyone, Doug. Bye. bye.